Welcome back. For your questions and comments, call 0808-054-2233. That's 0808-054-2233. And you can tweet at CTV underscore Mary A. We were talking about the effects of skin lightening, commonly called bleaching, on the skin. So, you said thin skin. Mm -hmm. You know what that reminds me of? Tell me. When the doctor tells you just before you go in for an operation, do you drink milk or do you, do you uh, take drugs? What does this do for operations, for surgical procedures? Very good question. So, the thin skin may prevent, likely will prevent, poor wound healing. So, rather, we actually allow for poor wound healing. So, we now have breakdown, wood breakdown. So you've had a surgery, you have been stitched, and we're trying to close the wound, and before you know, it's broken. So even in, in, in the theater that's in up, they might find it difficult to actually to, close. To actually get the skin together. together. Yeah, because it's very thin. It's, it's been thinned out, you know, the epithelium has dropped in layer, so to speak. And then the skin is now very sensitive. So you see them complaining that when they go out in the sun or when they're in the kitchen, their face feels like it's burning and they're so a they thousand So they get sunburned? Oh, easily. Sunburn, anybody could get sunburned, but you tend to have even a higher predisposition to getting sunburned and the damage of sunburn with recurrent skin so lightening. So if the skin gets so thin, do they, does it sometimes go beyond and become like a sore? Yes, definitely. Wow. That's why I talked about predisposition to infection. Okay. I started talking about um, fungal infections, but yes, you can have bacterial infections. You can have easy wound breakdown, easy bruisability, you know, where somebody just taps you nicely and the next thing you have like a redness because your, your cutaneous vessels are very fried. That's a lot to pay just to be light skinned. Now, you know, you know the, the light skinned people, that the original light skinned people, when they're embarrassed, they tend to flush. Uh, you know some of those originally light skinned people, they go ahead and use these creams too. As well, especially So what are they Asian. looking for? It's, it's going back to what you talk about psychology. I mean, if you think about it, the Asians who are already fair skin compared to us, want to be as white as the type 1, we call them skin type 1, maybe those in Wales. Okay, so they want to be like a like, Caucasian. Do you understand? So it's still, like, you have those that you think you want to be like. I mean, if, you, if they took two of us and we're probably going, if I was not a very confident person, I'll say, oh, they're likely going to take her, she's fairer than I am, and then I'm like in a cage. You find those that are already as fair as you, wanted to be fairer with, than somebody else. And so it's a bit of a... Who are you? And please help me. There was a time when we talked about tall, dark, and, and handsome. handsome. But the men are doing it too. Tall, dark. Didn't they believe us when, when we told them we liked them that way? Same way the men don't. Women, women don't even believe some men when they say, oh, I'm not very particular about light-skinned persons. Let, let's take this call. Let's take this call from Chica first. Hello, Chica. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your question, Chica? Yeah, actually, um, it's actually a, a contribution because I see that these days a lot of people are going into enhancements of their of their organs. Like you have the uh, the breast and the okay. and the the bum bum, mm -hmm. you know. So it, I don't know what effect because actually I know for sure there will be some effect. There will be some effect, you know, probably that will lead to malignancy that people are not are not. Um, are not aware of. So people want to enhance their breasts, they want to enhance their vision, uh, their bum bum, and you see them, you know, most of all this is still cause discoloration on their skin, but they don't know the after effect of most of all this. They keep telling you that it's organic. Okay. I that a lot of people are telling that they are going on organic, organic, organic. I don't believe that most of these things that they portray outside the market are already organic. Oh, all right, that the stuff is organic. Thank you so much, Chica that what they are using is organic. Is it true that these enhancements cause skin discolorations? Because by themselves, no, but they do many other things. Okay. You know? So she talked about body enhancements. Skin lightening is the simplest of the body enhancements. The world has become so... Tiny. I, I, that's not the word I'm looking for. It, it becomes so, as in, visual. Everybody just wants, wants to look like this. You know, there's a You know, facade. it's going to be a really boring world. Because everybody all look, look the, same. the same. Thank you very much. I definitely subscribe to that notion. So everybody's trying to do something because they think that this is the way I'm supposed to look. So yes, in addition to the skin lightening, which they're already beginning to do, they tend to do laser lipo, breast augmentation, um, buttock augmentation, and everybody. So the problem is 
Again, back to Psyche, what exactly is it you're trying to achieve when you go into all of these things? Body enhancements and all the other things may predispose you, allow you to use certain other things. That may become carcinogenic. In because you want to maintain what you particular got. Meanwhile, when you're natural, you There's don't need to, to maintain, maintain anything. It's really nothing. You just, to protect, you just protect yourself. yourself Maybe a hat the sun is too high, Thank you. but not, you know, creams and stuff to just keep it together. Yes. Okay, now some organic. people are saying mm -hmm. another phone call. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello, I can hear you, okay. Udeme. Yes, I'm about to ask a question. Go ahead. Uh -huh. If you are fair in complexion, eh? then you want to maintain your skin. Because somehow, my skin is playing uh, in complexion. But I'm not I'm hearing you so well, Udeme. Could you speak a bit louder? A bit louder. Like this. Hello, Udeme. I don't know if you got any part of what he was saying. I think he mentioned something about wanting to maintain the skin color, but I didn't hear the rest of it. Okay, that's another that's word. That's another word, exactly. They say you're not getting any lighter, but you are beautiful the way you are. But you want so to let's maintain. keep it that way. Use the screen. Okay, so that's a problem because you find that people who are talking about maintaining their color are actually looking to have uh, an equal color with maybe the covered skin as opposed to the exposed skin. But that's not skin. really possible. Thank you. So I don't actually have any... And then if you swim, <laughs> that's even less possible because you're going to get darker along the areas that were touched by the chlorinated water. You're correct. So, so that's the thing. Life. So when I tell them, what do you, when I ask, was, what do you mean by maintenance? And they're like, oh, Dr. C, this part of me. But I say, well, that's because this part of you is close to your body, so it's not exposed to the ultraviolet rays of the sun. This exposed part is darker. So if your skin, the skin on your face and the skin on your neck... Uh, like the skin that is covered, obviously you're doing something, something or you're not right. going out at all. Okay. And you have UV protected windows, your car is UV protected because once there's daylight, there's ultraviolet A. So darkening of the skin is normal, it's, it's actually, natural. It's, ex it's physiological, you can actually And I hear it's protective. It. That's just the very, very, very honest truth. Because they are there for a reason, your melanocytes are acting to protect you. So you just allow them to do their work. The minute you start to strip them off their activity, you're buying some more problems. Okay. So there's this thing that people say. Mm. They say, okay, never mind all those creams that are in the shops. Mm. I have a method that is natural. Do you know about this natural method? Depending on what it is. So yes. <laughs> but before we go there, there's a call. Hello. Alan? Hello. Hello, Alan. What's your question? Uh, uh, good afternoon. Um, my, my own is not a uh, question, but I wanted to find out. Uh, uh, I've listened to the dermatologist uh, uh, speak about uh, the essence uh, of uh, cream on the skin. Uh, what are my own contributions that the government, and before you bring out uh, some of these products in the open market, uh, the expectation is that there should be a, a control. That's right. Over those things. Because the, 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 the chemical ingredients. Oftentimes, they are written in the, on, the, on the container of this uh, these, uh, product. And if we know that uh, uh, these things have effect, and that there should be a, a, a very strong control. Because a lot of people, 90% 90 of uh, users, the end, the end users, they don't really know the effect of this thing. And it's trending, especially in Africa. Okay. Because uh, uh, most people in this part of the continent, well, they know just like she said, the beauty that they did. Okay, thank you, Alan. I, I think we've got the point. And you know, a, a question comes up from, from that. You spoke about the problem with this is that some percentages are allowed. So you can't very well throw what you get just because they wrote hydroquinone or something on it. And um, Olusheon is just capturing it beautifully. He's saying, what is the acceptable percentage of hydroquinone? Because it's probably going to be written on the slip inside the tube. So over to you. So acceptable hydroquinone concentrations is not more than 2%. Having said that, I talked about it at the beginning. When we say 2% hydroquinone in prescribed, so you, you know what products you have the 2% hydroquinone or less. Okay. Problem is people don't tell the truth. So we've had oh. products about that is saying 2% hydroquinone. And when you check it's 6, 8, 10% when they actually do check. So you, how do you ban? 
the other color talked about other products and it talked about steroids. Mm -hmm. Potent steroids there. Steroids can be used. 1% hydrocortisone is a steroid. It's actually over the counter. It can be used for many, many inflammatory dermatitis, you know. But people use high concentration of steroids can that are drugs. Can that don't have these things at all? I use simple, straightforward petroleum <sighs> jelly. All right. Or shea <laughs> butter. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to the show. That was marvelous. Thank you for being there with us today. Thank Hopefully we're having. more informed users of skin creams. Have a wonderful weekend. I am Mary Alale Yusuf.